boys and girls. This week we're talking about Arctic animals, and so I wanted to read this book about penguins. It's called Antarctic Antics, and it's actually not a story. It's a collection of poems, which are sometimes like short stories. So let's read some. Antarctic Antics. Oh, you already start with a little penguin. A hatchling song. Oh, and look, there's the hatchling. That's the little baby that's hatching out of the egg. I'm almost hatched. I'm almost hatched. I'm small. I'm wet. I'm not out yet. I'm almost hatched. I'm pecking hard. I'm pecking hard. I'm tired. I'm weak. It hurts my beak. I'm pecking hard. My head's outside. My head's outside. The moon is bright. The world's so white. My head's outside. And look, he had to peck through that shell in order to hatch. I'm really hatched, I'm really hatched. At last I'm free. <gasps> hey, Dad, it's me. I'm really hatched. This one's called Mother Penguin's Vacation. Two months out to sea is a penguin's greatest thrill. Each evening my dinner floats right into my bill. Oh, I might make a meal of a slithery eel, or a cod, or a squid. Gulp! I think I just did. I felt, feel a long tentacle tickling my ventricle. Several shrimp swimming south are approaching my mouth, so I'll just open wide and invite them inside. Yes, two months vacation is a penguish wish. I've got nothing to do but slurp squadrons of fish. I'll grow gorgeously fat, then swim home in July to sing my new baby a deep sea lullaby. And in the penguin world, the mama is actually the one that goes out and gets the fish. And the daddy stays with the eggs until they hatch. My father's feet. To keep myself up off the ice, I find my father's feet are nice. I snuggle in his belly fluff, and that's how I stay warm enough but when my father takes a walk, my cozy world begins to rock. He shuffles left, I hold on tight. Oh no, he's wobbling to the right. Not left again, oops, here he goes. Do you suppose my father knows I'm hanging on to his warm toes? That's so cute. See the baby's hanging on to his toes. Ah, now this is something that some animals do it's called regurgitate. It's been one whole hour since I ate. Where is my, why is my dinner always late? While you and mom procrastinate, I might become a featherweight. You know what I'd appreciate? Cough it up, dad, regurgitate. And that means a lot of birds, sometimes they chew up the baby's food and then they put the chewed up food into their mouth. <laughs> I am looking for my mother. I am looking for my mother, but you all look like each other. So I'll do what mama said. I'll use my ears instead. Ick? My mom does not say ick. She might give me a peck on the back of my neck, but she'd never say ick. Ick? My mom wouldn't say ick. She would call me her chick as she gives me a lick, but she wouldn't say ick. Eek? My mom does not say eek. She might let out a shriek. That would make the ice creak, but she'd never squeak eek. Awk? Would mom say awk? Awk is only a squawk, and it ain't no way to talk. Go away with your awk. Ah, ah, ah. Such a sweet sounding ah. Lovely mom, you come back. Did you bring me a snack? Only my mom says ah. Penguin's first swim. Ten little penguins all in a line. One jumps in and now there are nine. Nine little penguins, how they hesitate. One tumbles in and now there are eight. Eight little penguins pushing and shoving. One slides in and now there are seven. Seven little penguins, scarcely more than chicks. One slips in and now there are six. Six little penguins can't decide to dive. One falls in and now there are five. Five little penguins huddle on the shore. One flops in and now there are four. Four little penguins fidget fearfully. One hops in and now there are three. 
Three little penguins wonder what to do. One rolls in and now there are two. Two little penguins missing all the fun. They both leap in and now there are 10 little penguins brave as they can be splashing the waves of the salty southern sea. This one is a predator riddle and it's a predator is something that eats a penguin or an animal that eats another animal. What's black and white and mean all over? A mighty swimmer, a restless rover. He looks like a fish from head to tail, but he isn't a fish. He's a, what do you think that could be? <gasps> He's a killer whale. Let's do another one. The gray of the sea hides the gray of her fur as she waits in the waves for a penguin to stir. No, she isn't our friend. No, she's waiting to steal one of us for a supper. She's a, what do you think that could be? the nose of something. A leopard seal. He's a two-legged pest. He's revolting and rude, stealing eggs from our nest, chasing chicks, snatching food. But can you believe this? Though it does seem absurd, this creature's our cousin. He's a skulking. Hmm, what is that? Scuba bird. And the birds will come and eat the penguin eggs. All right, this is our last one. Diary of a very short winter day. At the first hint of dawn, I awake with a yawn and follow my cousins, all 33 dozen to the end of the land where we stand and we stand, playing pool dead in first and fearing the worst. We listen for seals who want us for meals. I see one penguin lunge, then we all plunge, take a bath, gulp a snack, and climb out in a pack. <laughs> Wasn't it fun to read those, peng those penguin poems? We learned a little bit about penguins too, that they hatch from eggs and they have to peck free that the daddies will watch the babies and the mamas go out and get the fish. And that there are some things that want to eat penguins, so they have to be careful when they're out. Well, thanks for reading with me, boys and girls. Bye.